Welcome back to a new episode of Color Yourself Calm. I've just been away for two weeks. My husband and I had our vacation and this time this year it was very late in the year. Normally we go um, early summer or late summer but this was the end of September that we went and I'm picking up the color. I'm going to color this one here. So let's change the position a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm using the Arteza Expert Colored Pencils called, this one is called Marmalade. And because of uh, the coronavirus crisis, we decided to stay in the Netherlands for our holidays, vacation. And um, the weather was not that good, but we had a marvelous vacation. And uh, we did things that were on our wish list but never happened because we always decided to go abroad for the holidays. So this year we decided to do uh, what was on our wish list. And one of the things was watching wildlife in an area that I love most in the Netherlands, the Veluwe. It's a wooded area with forests and heather and uh, it's one of the few areas where you can watch wildlife in the Netherlands on a larger scale so we had a nice apartment this is a lemon in a town called Vierhouten and that means four woods four woods and it that is uh, in the middle of the forests it's surrounded by forests so we were able to go out early morning when the sun was rising and then we uh, went hiking, walking, into the woods, searching for animals. Now, um, we do that once in a while. We drive to that area, the Veluwe, to watch wildlife, but we had never had the opportunity to be there for one week and go into the woods every day. The amount of animals that we, we saw was uh, not that high. We didn't see many, many animals, but in the end, uh, we encountered, here I have a color called spring green. We encountered a wild boar, wild pig, a roe deer, and uh, in the end we found the uh, red deer and they have their deer rut season so the males are making a lot of noise right now and uh, the first days that we were there we didn't hear anything nothing and that had everything to do with the temperature because when it is warm at night these animals um, are not very active so we had to wait for the temperatures to fall here I have a greenish gray called sage and eventually that um, happened and uh, one night we went out into the woods and we heard 
this uh, red deer making noise but we couldn't find it it was too far away so next morning we went out again into the area where we thought that the animal should be and we found red deer they were far away in an area that people are not allowed in but we had a view we could see a couple of deer oh yeah and a couple of deer they crossed the footpath in the forest so that was very very beautiful So our first week of vacation was all about um, watching wildlife. And um, you can also visit um, how do you say that in English? It's a fence, a wooden fence built in the forest and uh, from behind you can secretly look at the animals. So we encountered three of them I think and one we had never been before and that was absolutely beautiful area in the meantime I'm struggling with this uh, lamp flower house what it what is, what is it it I think it's it it's it's a house of the elves or something like that let's do this first let's pick a pink that's better I think here I have a flamingo Anyway, uh, we, uh, we found one of these wildlife watching fences in a beautiful area we had never been to. And when you were behind the fence, you could watch, look across, I think it was a heather field. And the sun was setting that it was absolutely amazingly beautiful but there were two problems too many people were there that made noise and you know if you want to watch wildlife making noise is not a good idea here we have pink macaroon and the second problem was the temperature because it had been a beautiful sunny afternoon and the temperature wasn't falling so the red deer males they remained silent inactive they did not start their rut uh, behavior <clears throat> and here i have fuchsia 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 so yeah, there was, um, it was beautiful, but nothing happened. And then they, the, the people, the, the, a couple of kids came, two children, 10, 11 years old, by bike, a lot of noise. They had their cameras and they were bumping the camera against the fence and it made noise. So. <laughs> uh, we were a little bit uh, well it's they're just children so what can you say but uh, okay then those children left and then a lady came loud talk loudly talking and then her phone rang and she started answering the phone and that was the moment that my husband and I decided to leave Kanslo's, that's what we told each other. There is no chance of seeing wildlife 
when someone is just talking on the phone. Here we have marmalade again. That was no chance. So we left. And on the way back to our apartment where we were staying, we saw the most beautiful mist uh, forming on the fields, on the header fields. It was absolutely beautiful. I tried to make pictures of, of it, but that didn't work out very well. And then we had also above these misty fields, there was a full moon. Oh my goodness. And then the scene was completed by a man walking through the fields in the mist with two dogs running in front of him. It was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. I think we need a little bit of warmth here. Plum. It's not a pink, but a little bit more reddish tone. Ah, look at that. But I think I need a little bit more of a warm tone. Let's switch to a red one. Blood orange. On vacation, I had this bag full of drawing and painting equipment, but I didn't use it much. Normally I do a lot of painting uh, in uh, when I'm on holidays, but this time it didn't happen. And there was another surprise. Uh, just uh, I think half an hour before we left for the vacation we left our home the postman the mailman arrived with a big box and I was astonished and my husband was astonished too my husband went to the door took the mail took the box and he came to me and said what did you order I think I said I didn't order anything so what is it here I have sunflower and this turned out to be a box from the famous brand Windsor and Newton the English brand Windsor and Newton they had contacted me a while ago asking if they could send me some uh, materials and uh, I was enthousi enthusiastic so I said yes of course you can send, send me something but um, well hadn't heard about it anymore and I had forgotten a little bit and then suddenly the mailman was there with a beautiful beautiful box here I have charcoal a beautiful box and I said well let's take that on vacation and uh, that's a nice chore to see what's in there when I'm on vacation and what was in there was absolutely amazing professional watercolor paint colored pencils fine liners, lots of different types of paper, drawing paper, watercolor paper, anything, marker paper, paper for markers, which I'm very interested in because I have a set of markers that I haven't really used yet because I didn't have the right paper, now I have. There was a set of watercolor markers in it. Um, brushes, uh, graphite pencils, it was absolutely amazing. 
So I did some testing and uh, I did that, I did testing. It's good stuff. So I will make videos about it for sure. These colors look a bit, uh, a bit strange. I'm not sure where to go. Let's continue with this one first. Let's start with the pink, the lightest pink that I have, pink macaroon. After that first week in the beautiful area of Velua, we went to the south of the Netherlands, the most southern town, I believe. No, it's not the most southern town. There are a couple of villages that are even more south, but it's very close to the border with Belgium and Germany. A town called Vals and uh, we had a little like a cottage there a house for a week or so and there's something very special about that area the Netherlands the country is completely flat except for a couple of bumps in the soil here and there in the country it's completely flat except for that very very southern part in the province called Limburg the last few miles I don't know how many kilometers it is I think it's only 50 kilometers wide that area 50 yeah maybe something like that and there are hills gorgeous hills here I have lemon and we were in that in those hills and for someone living in a country as flat as the Netherlands, those hills are breathtaking, beautiful. And the fun thing is that uh, over there you have a, a little bit of sense of mountain feel it's it's not like the Alps it's not high mountain it's hills but it feels yeah here I have a fruit punch it feels like you're abroad so we did a lot of walking hiking I love the word the American term hiking and um, we found beautiful things yesterday when we came back from the ho from the holidays um, yesterday morning we left our vacation home and then we went for a hike um, in a small valley that is called Gerendal Geren Valley we have never been there and it was absolutely beautiful a very small peaceful valley with green grass woods very secluded it was absolutely beautiful very peaceful the sun was shining, there were sheep, just beautiful. We sat there on a bench for 
half an hour, I think, just taking in the view, taking in the atmosphere. It was absolutely amazing. Because the weather wasn't, it is, it's autumn weather, so lots of clouds, wind, chilly, rain, and there is, luckily we had a little bit of sunshine as well, but overall it was herfstig weer, and that is um, autumn weather. This is absinthe green. Let's put that on the leaves. So we had moments in the day that the weather was not very nice and not very, it was not very appealing to go outdoors. So besides walking, hiking, we also uh, did some indoor stuff and um, Two. Two things were very interesting. At first we uh, visited a castle. Here I have garnet. It's a brownish tone. We visited a castle. Very nice. You could walk through the castle, see all the rooms and the furniture, the kitchen. burned ochre. It was a very old castle. It has been there for hundreds of years. Very nice. And the other very interesting thing that we did was visiting a museum called uh, Thermen Museum and Thermen that is a word for Roman bath house. This is dark chocolate. When the Roman Empire ruled over Europe they were also here in the south of the Netherlands. Their border, the border of the Roman Empire, was right across the Netherlands. And uh, the, south, the southern part of the country belonged to the Roman Empire and the northern, northern part did not. And these Romans were very ingenious people and they built a huge bath house. It was, we would now say a wellness center with swimming pools and you could have a massage and you could do some, they did sports, wrestling, that's what I understand, that they did wrestling and they had hot waters and cold waters, they had a sauna, so And that was built almost 2,000 years ago. And in the 1930s, I believe, they discovered the remnants of this bathhouse. Well, then the Second World War came, so nothing was done with it. But after the Second World War, they started excavating. And uh, in the 1970s, I believe, they started to build a museum over this uh, 
archaeological site. So now the complete bathhouse is indoors. There's a huge building built over it and they made a, did a beautiful job um, explaining to you what it's all about. You can walk a, uh, through it because they made um, walking paths. You cannot damage uh, anything but you can walk across it and through it. It's very interesting. And it has been built 2000 years ago and it's still there, partly. The remnants are still there. It was very interesting to see how these Romans, this is lime, were able to um, to build an ingenious uh, building like this bathhouse. They had floor heating. Very interesting. The, 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 uh, the day we visited that Roman bathhouse was a very rainy day. We uh, planned on doing a hike afterwards, but that was absolutely impossible due to the weather. Here we have bezel, but okay. So we went back home, had a cup of tea, enjoying the warmth of the house, of the vacation house. So yeah. But we had a really nice vacation. And uh, I have a feeling that we were right in time because the fear is that the Netherlands will have to go back into lockdown because the corona numbers are rising rapidly. And why is that? Well, people just don't want to listen anymore. This is Coco. People are done keeping distance, staying away from each other. The current wave of infections has its origin in France and Spain. Many people decided to go abroad for their holidays and they took the virus back home. So that's really really sad. And right now the Netherlands is in the the numbers are rising so quickly that we are in the top five countries where the numbers are growing the fastest. So that's really not good. The government is trying to um, prevent a major lockdown. But because people are just not listening, I haven't been listening. Um, I really hope they will be able to uh, convince everybody to do what is necessary. So we also started uh, wearing face masks. We haven't done that as one, one of the many few countries 
one of the few countries who haven't implemented f face masks yet so I anticipated that so um, I already had face masks at home so we took them on vacation and then last week the message came please wear face masks so we started wearing them I really hope it's going to help because uh, another lockdown will not uh, well it, it it will be devastating to many people I think but if that is the only right way to stop the virus then well maybe we, sh we need to do that again this one looks much better than this one so I've learned something <laughs> Let's uh, just experiment. If you don't know where to go with your drawing, start experimenting. And it's always good if you really have no idea where to go. Just leave the drawing for a couple of days. It will freshen up your, your view. And then after a couple of days you will suddenly see where to go. Let's change the camera a little bit. Here we have pumpkin, an orange tone. There was a question from a viewer. And this viewer asked why... It's, she, the, the, the question was something like, it seems like you prefer Arteza pencils more than... Um, a Prismacolor Premier uh, because I don't use them very much in the videos and I have been using these Arteza pencils a lot lately and the question was why do you prefer them above uh, Prismacolor Premier because in Canada and uh, the, the person who asked this well, is from Canada in Canada, Prismacolor Premier seems to be the number one pencil to use. So why do I prefer Arteza? Well, the thing is, I do not really prefer Arteza. But I just started this drawing and I need to finish it. I, j I started this drawing with uh, Arteza and I want to finish it with Arteza so that is why I have been um, using let's pick another color here I have fruit punch again the reason that I do not use uh, Prismacolor Premier that often is because they are extremely soft and I do like that sometimes but not always and there's another thing they have a problem with breakage their core is breaks easily If they would fix that, they would easily compete with Arteza pencils. Easily. But I have a feeling that these Arteza pencils are a little bit more sturdy. Now I must say, when it comes to mixing and blending, I think the Prismacolor Premiers are better. Than the Arteza. 
But I just happened to uh, start this drawing with artisan. I want to, to finish it with artisan. Just that's, that's the story. Pink macaroon. I want to tone down this yellow a little bit. Look at that. And that's working. Let's take a step back. Well, I don't like this color. I do like this much more, but I think I would like to see a little bit more contrast between the house, so to speak, and the roof. I'm going to think about that, how to do that. But this is the drawing so far. As you can see, there's a lot of more work that I need to do. But, um, well, we're getting there. I hope you liked this episode. There are more, there's more coming videos about Prism, uh, no, about Windsor and Newton, all the stuff that I uh, received from them, I would like to show you. And um, I made a couple of pictures in during my holidays that I think uh, could use for drawings. And well, maybe we can do a, a color along or paint along. So I will do that. And uh, well, I wish you a lot of happy hours of coloring, good health, stay home and color as much as you can. Together we can beat this virus. So happy coloring and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.